everyone welcome to shudhi swama world today i am going to talk to you about air permeability method for what purpose we are using this air permeability method it is mainly used to determine the surface area of a powder okay here fischer subsidy sizer instrument is used for the determination of surface area of a powder let's see all the points regarding air permeability method so students this is fischer subsidy sizer instrument assembly first of all i will explain all the important parts that is associated with this fischer subsidy sizer instrument then you can easily understand the principle construction and working all other things you can easily understand okay this is sample holder or a sample tube inside the sample tube we are packing our powder the powder whose surface area is to be determined is packed inside the sample holder as a compact plug so first part is sample holder or sample tube one end of the sample holder is connected to an air pump here you can see the connection for an air pump okay one end of our sample holder is connected to a air pump through a constant pressure regulator this is constant pressure regulator this regulator is used to control the air flow into our sample holder in between this sample holder and air pump there is a dryer here you can see dryer so dry air is allowed to pass through this powder sample other end of the sample holder is connected to a calibrated manometer this is manometer and this manometer is used to determine the pressure difference across this powder sample okay so one end of the sample holder is connected to a calibrated manometer and this manometer containing a liquid whose viscosity is very low and vapor pressure is also negligible so these are the important parts that is associated with this fischer subsidy sizer instrument now move on to the principle of air permeability method so as i already said this is our sample holder or sample tube inside the sample holder we are packing our material our powder sample the powder whose surface area is to be determined is packed inside the sample holder as a compact plug is it clear in this packing surface to surface contact between particles that appear as capillaries okay surface to surface contact between particles appear as a series of capillaries and the surface of this capillaries is a function of surface area of the powder air is allowed to pass through this capillaries so it is related to the surface area of the powder so here you can see constant pressure regulator with the help of this constant pressure regulator we are controlling air flow so air is allowed to pass through this powder sample at a constant pressure our powder sample create resistance to this air flow so when air is allowed to pass through this powder sample air is allowed to pass through this powder bed at a constant pressure this powder sample or powder bed create resistance to the air flow okay the powder bed resist the flow of air so pressure drop will be created inside the sample holder if surface area per gram of powder is greater then of course the resistance offered by the powder bed is also greater so the powder bed create resistance to the air flow the permeability of air for a given pressure drop that is inversely proportional to the specific surface this relationship is explained by cosine carmen equation the permeability of air for a given pressure drop is inversely proportional to the specific surface so students 
Cosmic Raman equation is used to determine the surface area of our powder. Now let's see Cosmic Raman equation. V equal to A divided by eta SW square into delta PT divided by KL into epsilon divided by 1 minus epsilon square. So, this is Cosmic Raman equation and by using this equation, we can determine the surface area of powder. Here, delta P is the pressure difference of the plug, T is the time of flow, epsilon is the porosity of the powder, K is the special constant that accounts the irregular capillaries, L is the length of sample holder, a is the cross-sectional area of the bed and SW is the surface area per gram of powder. Eta is the viscosity of the fluid. So by using this equation, we can determine the surface area of our powder sample. Now, move on to the construction part of Fischer Subsidizer instrument. Uh, it consists of a sample holder or sample tube and our powder sample is packed inside the sample holder. One end of the sample holder is connected to an air pump. Here you can see the connection for air pump and uh, with the help of constant pressure regulator, air pump is connected to this sample holder and other end of the sample holder is connected to a or attached to a calibrated manometer and this manometer is containing a liquid whose viscosity is low and it is having low vapor pressure or negligible vapor pressure. In between this air pump and sample holder there is a dryer. Here you can see dryer. So uh, these are the important parts which is present in a Fisher Subsidizer instrument. Now let's discuss about working procedure of this Fisher Subsidizer instrument. Here you can see a connection for our air pump. So this air pump builds up air pressure and it is connected to a constant pressure regulator. So air is having constant pressure passing through this dryer and then it enters the powder bed sample holder. Okay. So by using this air pump, uh, air pressure builds up and it is connected to a constant pressure regulator. So with the help of this regulator, air is having constant pressure is allowed to pass through the dryer. While passing through this dryer, moisture is removed and the dry air that is allowed to pass through the sample holder and the sample holder containing our powder bed or our powder sample is packed inside the sample holder as a compact plug. So air is allowed to pass through this powder sample. When air is passing through this powder sample, that powder bed creates resistance to the air flow. Uh, so a pressure drop will be created inside the sample holder and we can measure that pressure drop using this manometer. The level of fluid in the manometer that indicate the average diameter of the particle. An average particle diameter can be read from the calculated chart supplied with the equipment. So this is very simple procedure. By using this Fischer Subsidizer instrument, we can easily determine the surface area of a powder. Now let's see what are the important advantages of this Fischer Subsidizer instrument or air permeability method. This instrumentation is very simple. Determination is quick. We can easily determine the surface area by using this Fischer Subsidizer instrument and it is used to estimate the surface diameter. It is useful in controlling batch to batch variations in powder. So these are the important advantages of Fischer Subsidizer instrument. Hope you all understand. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Till the next time, stay fabulous and stay blessed. Thank you.